Weekend hostilities resumed in crew and the players took a little secret from the training ground with them. To be truthful with everybody, we haven't done that much on set pieces because when we came here we felt we had to keep everything simple. This one, this one is really simple as well, you know. Grant Johnson makes a little run towards Dolly usually who takes it. Um, Barry Horn, or whoever's playing in midfield, makes a run towards the near post to take their marker there. And the ball's just slotted out to Dave Phillips on the edge of the box. And Dave's a great striker of the ball, you know. He can hit, hit the ball on the volley fantastically. But what we tell him is not to... Don't try to score, just try to get the ball in between the sticks and let somebody else tap it in, you know. And it worked perfectly, with Marcus Stewart getting the touch after Phillips had tried not to score. Now, all right then, Gresty Road is three yards shorter than the McAlpine, but a clearance from penalty spot to D isn't a bad start to an attack. And what about the flick, Frank? Behind the goal, a brave man couldn't hide his delight at Paul Dalton's seventh goal in 11 matches. There were nearly a 1,000 travelling fans at the other end, having a great time until this happened. Darren uh, stuck his foot out, really, and it's flown in the back of the net. 2-1. 2-2. What are we going to do now, you know? Well, score three wonderful goals is surely the answer. I always say that game we played like Brazil, but probably exaggerating a little bit. But our football that day was particularly good. But for a side, you know, it'd be 2-0 away, all of a sudden it'd be 2-2. So a great character in coming back and beating them five. Now the celebrations could really begin. Marcus Stewart matching Dalton's scoring tally for the season. And didn't he like that? Although by now the town fans knew what a penalty looked like, they still hadn't seen one converted for a long time. But the curse of the famine would now be broken. David Orr from Bucks awarded it. And after 602 days, 83 games, 124 hours and 8 minutes, Paul Dalton scored one. All of a sudden it was going horribly right. And no one really cared about the statistics. Or did they? No, thought not. Having shrugged off the nickname Nil, town were now being hailed the hit squad. Two minutes from the end, Barry Horn's crashing drive was collected by Wayne Allison, and he could savour his first goal for a team whose home was Leeds Road the last time they scored five on the road.